and welcome back to Computational Genomics Lab. I'm Kit and today we will be talking about the command prompt um, and PowerShell along with a couple of commands that we'll be using in this class. So the command prompt is a lot like our file finder. So sort of like here if I open up my files you can see I can look at my desktop, my downloads, documents, and pictures. Um, I don't really have much on this profile because it is for um, class purposes so bare bones here. I can go through and look through all of these icons for things that I want, or we can use the command line. So if I search command prompt here and click into that, I would strongly suggest right clicking and pinning it. Mine says unpin, but here it would say pin to taskbar because we will be using this quite a bit. So like I said, this is mostly taught on Mac and the Unix command line, and we use bash scripting. So if you saw the other video, you might have noticed that we used commands like ls, pwd, and, um, and cd. As you can see here, uh, most of my commands came back with an error, and that is because the command prompt in Windows is different from the Unix slash Linux slash bash command line syntax, or the language that you would use. To use a Mac with this class, we'll have to use something called PowerShell. The good news is unlike in other videos, you don't have to download anything. It's actually already built in to your PC as long as you have Windows 10 or newer. And all you have to do is type in PowerShell Enter and you will see that it says PowerShell up here in the corner. And instead of it just saying C with a colon, it also says PS, C, and then the rest of this. So how this is set up, is like I said, like your file explorer. So the three main commands that we're going to use for this class are ls, which is list, and that will list everything in your current directory, pwd, which is print working directory, and that will tell you exactly what location you are in in looking through your files, and then we have cd, which is change directory, and that allows you to jump into another folder. For example, when I type PWD here, it shows that I'm in Users and Visitors. If I want to know everything that I have under my Visitor User folder, I would simply type ls, and that lists everything that I have here. Looks pretty familiar, right? We saw that we had the desktop, documents, downloads, pictures, and things like that when we were looking in the File Explorer. And if I want to change directories, so if I want to go into my desktop, you can see here that there is a new um, folder that I'm in and it says desktop. We can also print working directory to make sure that we're there. And we can do ls. I can go ahead and tell you that this desktop is empty so nothing will print out, but um, that is exactly fine. If you had things on your desktop, uh, for example, let me just add a folder here. We're just gonna call it kit. Now when I go into here and do ls, you can see that I have a folder called kit here. And if I wanted to go even deeper and jump into this folder, I would put cd kit, and you can see that I'm in there now. If I ever want to back out of a folder, let's say I want to go back to my desktop, all I would have to do is type cd, put a period and a slash, hit enter, and you can see here that I'm only in my desktop, but we can also print our working directory. So that is the basics of, um, of using the command line on Windows. Open it. First thing you should do is type PowerShell to make sure that um, we can all use the same language when going through our files. And remember these commands. In the next video, I will show you how to set up an SSH key and we can access the supercomputer from our command line. I will teach you one extra command um, specifically for making those keys so you don't have to log into um, the supercomputer every single time, but I'll see you next time and we will talk about that.